a unexpected opportunity. Uh, we are at the water source the south of Monchique. Fascinating little place. So I thought we'd have a little look round and show you the area. Interesting all these um, cobbles. And you do want well I wonder what why would you anybody build on this sort of very steep terrain? If something caught my eye I'm just going to show you. Great big you can't even call it rock, it looks more like petrified concrete to be honest. But uh, what caught my eye were these massive tree stumps and how similar the colouring of the timber goes to the rock. That's where we were just now before we started this little video. So we're going to go to the water source now with a little panorama of this oh, to me rather attractive building up there set in the side of the hill you can see here where there's like the capacity for when it is the rainy season and uh, this curious building always that same theme of two pillars with a wider central bit and a piece either side. You see that on town halls, many of the old buildings were those that sort of style of pillar. Let's zoom in. I'm sure you've seen many of these things before. I'm not doing any sort of history because I, I really don't know the history but I thought I'd just do a little walking tour to show you around so we're, we are actually going to get to this water source. It's um, pretty hot here today. It was showing as 36 degrees centigrade. No idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh, it feels nearer 40 to me. Hopefully I'm going the right way here. We shall find out. All part of the adventure. We just go on a sort of intuition navigation shall we say rather than uh, looking at maps and things because you can't really get lost the contrast there on the more modern and the ancient architecture of this bridge I thought as we were walking round I'll just share a bit more of the views of the architect. I quite like the proportions of this yellow house and uh, I don't know if we can see it. Yes, here we are. This rather beautiful property with the aesthetic pleasing um, Possibly Antiquitech, as it's called. Whether it's still in use, who knows. So, we're now going to go to the water source. Now I've found the path. I've only been here maybe twice before, so... Sort of got, a, not exactly lost, but lost my bearings, as it were. Certainly feel the heat today as well. It's a strange little place where this Monchique water comes from. Hopefully Niven, Niven Channel you're watching this and you'll be able to see things that I'm not able to see being so sort of boots on the ground as it were. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we'll pause the filming 
and then pick this up nearer the source. It's almost as if it's a touristy place without the tourists. It's sort of similar to that, uh, uh, was it Marion Bay in Wales where they um, filmed the series The Prisoner? Birds in the trees there. It's actually nice and cool in this sort of foresty type setting. Here's the water. Massive trees. This is the place to come. Natural water, naturally filtered by nature. And we've got this tap here. It comes with this warning of not, it's not been treated, it's not controlled. Which to me says it's good water, so I'm just going to fill up a bottle. Right, mission accomplished. Just got two bottles with me. But uh, as much as anything else, it was just for the walk into a hike. Um, just to give you a look round. It's got quite a timeless and magical feel about this place. And the pH balance of the water is 9.5 slightly more on the alkaline scale which is probably a very good thing to sort of rebalance the acidic now if you ask me on dietary things i very much moved between vegan vegetarian and various other things and i would say if it's got a barcode on it, <laughs> then there's going to be something classed as a manufacturing process rather than classed as an ingredient. And I feel it's down to the individual. Go with what feels right to you. Um, learning the language of how the body speaks to the mind. So if you, for example, were to get a craving for a burger, for example, your standard beef burger in a bun. It's more than likely that something like vitamin K that's in the meat that your body is lacking, so it's going to show you in a picture that you understand, but how you interpret that picture and whether you actually go for, a, say, a corporate burger or whether you source... Because always check the sources, so ideally, if you were going to go down that route, you would ideally know where the meat comes from. Now, there may be some of you that would say, oh, you shouldn't be eating meat. I'm not, it should, could, and would. What is right for one may not be right for another. It's about taking an individual path. And really it's learning those languages that go on internally. What do we interpret? 
in the mind, where is that feeling coming from? Is it the mind that is interpreting it or is it the heart? Key questions that we all need to ask ourselves and be individual. You do you, as the vet would say, and blank that karma on the way. I'm actually here because I'm blessed with being visited by one of the subscribers to the channel. So we've had some fantastic conversations already. So I'm now going to meet up with them. I, I'm not sure that they'd want to appear on video and I certainly wouldn't record them without asking their permission first. Valuable lesson in, in being aware and considering consideration of others always. Now it's even called the Alkaline Bar, this building, because it is uh, a higher alkaline water. So yeah, I think, it, yeah, Port Merion, I think it is. Um, my newfound friend who's come over to sample Portugal, see what it's like, totally different from their normal environment. To me, coming here was like shutting the door to the outside world, all the chitter-chatter, um, which I don't miss one bit. It's uh, a world within a world. That's why on previous videos I have invited any of you to come and sample the delights of this area, the, the peace, the tranquility. Just being in nature will automatically soothe the soul. It's just a little quick video for you. Just a little walk around this interesting place. Just to show you, it, ah, this is what it's called Monchik Spa Resort. We've got the Pure Monchik Hotel, Bar Monchik, Hotel Central, Suites and Apartments, Restaurant 1692. Wonder what the significance is of that number. Still, I'm not uh, going into conspiracies and things, I just leave these things as a watcher, as an observer, and sharing what I'm doing. That's uh, some fantastic detail up there, down the edges of that roof on that building. And of course some more modern bits sort of thrown in. You have to wonder about these massive rocks. When did they get here? How did they get here? What are they actually made from? Because it doesn't actually look like rock. It looks more like a poured concrete. In texture and in colour, there's clearly some iron content on that underside, it's got a sort of brownish, rusty sort of look about it. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Until the next video. Oh look, just to end with, when's a door, not a door. Eleven is a door. It's like the two pillars. It's about uh, living in life is dancing in the moonlight, stepping to the unknown without fear, knowing that you have the power within inside yourself to create the world around you. I hope that has inspired you and uh, you've enjoyed the little tour. We'll end here in this viewing area just to give you a little look of where this place is set into this valley with this natural spring water. Well worth coming here, but wow is it hot. <laughs> so you definitely need a bottle of water to carry around when it's like this. So may you have found this enjoyable, inspiring and uplifting. That is the intention. <laughs>